We are currently looking at designing a state variable compensator and are adding the compensator components one by one. We have already looked at state feedback where we designed the closed loop dynamics by placing the closed loop poles in desired locations. In today's video, we look at adding the reference input in such a way that the output tracks the reference input exactly in steady state. The block diagram of the plant with the compensator so far is shown here. This block is the plant described by states X and system matrices A, B, C and D. We have previously added the state feedback where we multiply the states with the feedback gain K to form the plant input. Such a system is called a regulator where the states are controlled to be zero. Today we look at how to control the states to non-zero values by adding a reference input R. We add the reference input as follows. We multiply it with a feed forward gain N and add the result to the plant input. We have therefore expanded the control law to be the plant input is equal to the feed forward gain N times the reference input R minus the feedback gain K times the states x. The question we address today is how to design the feed forward gain n such that the output y is equal to the reference input r in steady state. It can be shown that we will achieve this perfect steady state tracking when the reference feed forward gain n is given by minus 1 divided by c times the inverse of a minus bk times b. This result is only valid when the scalar d of the plant model is zero. We will look at how to manipulate the plant model to achieve this at a later stage. We will also prove this result at a later stage. An important thing to note here is that the calculation of n depends on the system matrices A, B and C. If the model of the system is inaccurate, the value that we calculate for n might therefore not cause the output to track the reference input perfectly in steady state. We can now combine the plant model with the state feedback and reference feed forward to obtain a state variable model of the full system. The plant dynamics is described by the normal state equation and the control law is now described by this equation. For the output equation, we assume that d is equal to 0. By combining equations 1 and 2 and gathering the terms containing x, we can write the state equation of the full system as the following equation. We recognize this as a normal state equation where a minus bk is the new a matrix, b times n is the new b vector, and the reference input r is the input to the full system. The output equation is unchanged. An important thing to note here is that the new A matrix is independent of the feed forward gain N. The new A matrix determines the closed loop poles of the full system and we can therefore conclude that the reference feed forward gain does not influence the, the dynamics of the system. To illustrate these concepts Let's work through an example. The plant model for this example is the hanging pendulum model of practical 1 given by this state equation and this output equation. Previously, we designed the state feedback gain vector k to place the closed loop poles at minus 4 and minus 4. To calculate the reference feed forward gain n, we start with the inverse of a minus b times k. This is matrix A, this is vector B, and this is the state feedback gain K. This is A minus B K, and after inverting the matrix, we get this matrix. Next, we pre-multiply with vector C and post-multiply with vector B, resulting in minus 1 over 16. The reference feed forward gain is then given by minus 1 divided by C times the inverse of A minus B K times B resulting in 16. 
we can draw a block diagram of the full system as follows. This is the plant model with input U, output Y and states X1 and X2. The states are multiplied with the state feedback gains and the result form one component of the plant input. The reference input is multiplied with the feed forward gain in and the result forms the other component of the plant input. The full system will respond to a step input as follows. The transient response will be critically damped with a natural frequency of 4 radians per second and the steady state tracking error will be zero. The state variable model of the full system can be written as follows. The state equation is x dot equal to a minus bk times x plus b in times r. The output equation is unchanged.